neutralization as the word suggests making something neutral now what is neutral when i say neutral that means i am talking about the ph value you all must have seen the advertisements where they show the soap is having the ph 7 now that ph 7 what does it mean here we are trying to see how ph that ph what as it does this ph stands for it is called as potence of hydrogen now potence of hydrogen means how much amount of hydrogen is present depend on that the ph value can be uh, understood now if i say ph value starts from 1 to 14 this is the ph range so from 1 to 7 this is called as acidic range now if the ph of that particular substance it falls between 1 to 7 that particular substance is nature of that substance will be called as acidic and from 7 to 14 if the range of that substance is there it is called as basic substance or alkaline I am just giving the outline to understand what is neutral at 7 when we talk about distilled water when we talk about drinking water that drinking water is having the pH 7 that means it is neither acidic nor basic and that is why it is very good for your body for all the cells to function properly so when I talk about neutralization the best example is if I take an acid react it with base what I will form an acid reacts with base to form salt plus water this is called as neutralization reaction now you all must have seen that clothes are washed with soap the soaps which we use are actually basic in nature and now if by chance you are eating something and it falls on your shirt now you take that shirt and you try to wash it when you apply soap that washed part or the haldi part will turn pink in color or red in color have you observed that yes you must have observed why it is turning pink or red in color because that haldi in the vegetable actually is acting as an indicator to you that this part is uh, having some fat and when it is reacted with the soap soap is a base it reacts and forms salt and water so this is a general example and this total neutralization and pH value we are going to learn in the next chapter. Only I wanted to tell you what is the example which we see in the daily life. So you have to remember what is neutralization. Neutralization means an acid when it reacts with the base it forms salt and water and this is neutralizing each other. Acid is neutralizing base and base is neutralizing acid and this is reaction is called as neutralization reaction and this neutralization reaction we are going to learn more in detail in the next chapter. So this was about the whole lesson where we have understood so many things we have tried to understood the various types of chemical reactions how to balance a chemical equation how what is oxidation and what is reduction how to prevent this oxidation how oxidation of fats takes place this oxidation of fat or oxidation of food they have given one name which is called as rancidity so when i said the food gets spoiled so in chemical language i'll say the food got rancid so rancid means spoilage and this is spoilage of food due to oxidation of fats is process, this process is called as rancidity. So if you are told that food has become rancid it means nothing else it means that food has got spoiled. So we learnt about rancidity how the, cor how the corrosion also takes place then we learnt what is the neutralization reaction. This is the lesson of our second lesson which we have tried to understand the nature of chemical reactions.